My name is Julie, and I'm going to show you how to drive a stick shift. Um, I've noticed a lot of videos on YouTube are very technical, and I just want to break it down to as easiest as I can make it. So please don't critique me. I am only here to help those who need simple assistance. All right, so first of all, when you drive a stick shift, you have a clutch, which is your left foot, and the gas is your right foot, and your right hand is on the clutch, okay? So when you're sitting in, there is no park in a stick shift, so what you have to do is when it's in the center, it's in neutral. So if you push on the gas, you're not going to go. So what you have to do is you can't move your stick at all until you put it in first gear or whatever, either first or reverse. So what you're going to do is you push in your clutch with the left foot, move your clutch handle. This cooking spray will be my clutch handle, stick, shifter. Put it into second gear or first gear. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your right foot, which is your gas foot, and you're going to slow, you're going to slowly release, very slowly release the clutch and push in the gas. And there, there's a point on all cars where you'll feel it grab. So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of test to feel that. And then once you feel it kind of grab with the gas or with the clutch and you, as, as you're pushing on the gas, you slowly let up and you keep pushing on the gas, but you don't want to floor it. You can start flooring it if you want to go fast once it's in gear. If you try to push it, if you try to switch too fast, you're going to make it screech. So, so I don't know if you see my feet. So you're going to push with that and then you're going to release with your gas and you're going to go. And then once once you've gone and it's about 3,000 RPMs, you're going you're gonna to let off the gas, push in the clutch, and that's in first gear. And you're going to slowly again do that same process, but with, since it's in second gear. So you keep doing that, so vroom. Okay, it's time to switch to third gear. So let off the gas, push in the clutch, move it into third gear, put your foot, foot back on the gas, and slowly release the clutch as you push in the gas and you'll feel it. And once you feel it grab, you slowly release and you let your foot off and then now you're in the gas. And you can cruise in this until you need to go faster and you just repeat again. So if you want to go to fourth gear, you push the dent, you move your clutch down, your stick shift down, let off out the gas, push on the clutch, push it all the way down, and you, you push on the gas a little bit, so it's maybe about 2,000, 1,500 RPMs. And you slowly let off on the clutch as you're pushing down on the gas. You need to give it a little more gas because if you don't give it gas as you're pushing in the clutch, you're going to stall. Okay? So you have to make sure you are keeping those RPMs up to like 2,000 or 1,500 as you're pushing in, your, as you're releasing your clutch and pushing in your gas. So you just kind of, it's kind of like a, like kind of like a teeter-totter is what I like to think about it as. Um, so clutch, and then gas, and then you go like this. So it transfers. Because what's happening is your, your clutch, it's these gears that are spinning around, and if it doesn't grab, you're going to get that screeching sound, so you need it to slowly ease in so you can grab into those gears. If you release too fast, you're gonna, it's going to clunk, and you're going to go like this, back and forth. That's bad. If you don't give it enough gas, you're going to get the same thing. You're going to like this little bit and you're going to stall. So, um, if you have any questions, I may post something else up, but I think that may answer some questions. And peace out.